everybody, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Inspired by Jesse J. This is my first video, and today I have an amazing, quick and simple, but delicious, creamy Tuscan chicken recipe that your mama, your daddy, and your greedy, greedy granddaddy them are sure to love. So without further ado, let's head over to the kitchen and get started. All right, this recipe calls for a four pack of boneless, skinless chicken breasts, baby spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, creamy milk triple cheddar cheese, kosher salt, olive oil, black pepper, white distilled vinegar, and I'll let you know what I'm gonna do with this in just a second, garlic powder, garlic cloves, red cayenne pepper, onion powder, and smoked paprika. All right, this is the most important part of this recipe, okay? You see why I got the meat sitting, right? Over the sink. So what we about to do, we about to wash and cleanse this meat. Please, for heaven's sake, do not take this meat out the package, put it in a skillet and cook it and think you're going to eat it. That's just nasty, and I know your mama didn't raise you to be that way. Okay, so what I like to do with all of my meat, I like to cleanse it with some white distilled vinegar and then I rinse it with cold water. It ain't no telling what kind of bacteria to set up on this meat as it's sitting in the grocery store. I ain't doing it and you shouldn't either. Okay, so we're going to wash and cleanse this meat and we're going to move on with this recipe. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, we washed and rinsed our chicken. We pat it dry, and now it's time to marinate and season. We're going to start with olive oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. We're going to pour that on each side of the chicken breast. What olive oil tends to do is keep your meat a little juicier so that it doesn't dry out. Because ain't nobody got time for dry chicken, okay? I don't like that. So we're going to rub that in on both sides. And then we're going to move on to the seasoning. All right, next we're moving on to the seasoning portion of this video. We're going to start with some kosher salt, onion powder, black pepper, garlic powder, and smoked paprika. What I forgot to do on this side of the chicken was add the cayenne pepper, but if you continue watching, you'll see that I actually go back and add it to this side of the chicken breast. The paprika and the cayenne pepper gives your chicken that red smoked look at the end of the process. And here I'm just going back and adding those same ingredients on the opposite side of the chicken breast. You can find the specifics of the ingredients down in the description box of this video. Again, it's okay to use a little bit more seasoning what the recipe calls for. All right, next we about to whip it up. And when I mean whip it up, I'm talking about on what's love got to do with it, whip it up. When Anna Mae and Ike was in the back of that limo and he had hit her, and then she was like, that's all you got? Is that all you got? And she took that shoe off and she whooped him. That's how we about to whip this up, okay? Get ready. After you've melted your butter in the skillet, now it's time to cook your chicken breast. We're gonna cook this on medium low heat. You don't want to rush this process because you want to ensure that your chicken is cooked thoroughly and you also don't want to burn it. So you want to cook it for about five to seven minutes or as needed on each side so that you get that red smoked look in the end. Also be conscious of the thickness of your chicken breast. If you buy thicker cuts, your meat will need to be pounded before it's seasoned and cooked. Bam! 
Look at that chicken, boy, looking real good. So once that's done, we're going to put that chicken off to the side. And now it's time to start the process of making our sauce for the Tuscan chicken. We're going to start on medium heat and adding two cups of heavy whipping cream. Here I added two and a half just because I like a little bit more sauce. When I go to plate mine, I actually add sauce over my chicken. Then we're going to add the five cloves of garlic that's been chopped. And then your sun-dried tomatoes. Here I added the garlic and herb flavored sun-dried tomatoes. You can use the plain. I felt a little bougie. Thought it would give it a little bit more flavor. It did. I liked it. That's what I'm sticking to. You're going to cook that for about five to seven minutes and then it will begin to thicken. All right, once your sauce has begun to thicken, we're going to lower the heat just a tad bit, and then we're going to add some of those seasonings that we use to season our meat. Here I'm adding just a tad bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and just a little bit of smoked paprika. This is just going to add some flavor to our sauce before adding our meat. Then I'm adding in one cup of the triple cheddar creamy milk cheese. You honestly can use whatever cheese you desire. I just wanted something that was blended to give it a variation in the cheesiness. And then we're going to slowly add in our three cups of baby spinach. You want to gradually add that in and stir it until your spinach is welted before you add in your meat. This process should take you about anywhere from five to seven minutes. Once you've added in all your spinach, then we're going to add the meat. All right, we've added our meat and voila, we have our Tuscan chicken. So you want to cook this on low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. After you've let that simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, voila, magic. Baby, that looks sopped up, don't it? We have some green beans. We have Tuscan chicken and yellow rice. Looks so good. I might call my mama and tell her I want to slap her. Listen, this, don't play with me. Play lotto, okay? Hit that subscribe button on your way out. I got some amazing recipes for you guys.